Hello again. Today we're going to be setting up a Higvision recorder without a hard drive and we're going to show you how to stop it beeping. Right, let's get started. I've defaulted the unit um, and the first thing you have to do is just set up a few uh, initial steps. So we need to select the language because I've got a big monitor. I need to somewhat set the resolution. I need to give it an initial password now. So I'm just going to give it my standard password. Here we go. And I've just got to confirm the same password again. After that, I'm just going to untick the reserved email settings. I don't need to do that right now. And I'm going to put the channel password in just in case I need it. So it's the same password. I'm just going to continue there. Uh, just tell us to keep that password safe. The next thing you need to do is put a pattern in because it's the first time we've used it. So we have to repeat the pattern and that's that pattern saved. Uh, the next thing we have to do is go and set up the time zone, the time and date and all that. So we have first we're going to go and pick our time zone, which is GMT. Uh, and we're just going to go and change the time to the current time. Uh, the date's okay as it happens. Let's just quickly move on there and select that check everything's okay uh, and click next uh, this is the point where we can set the network up i've left it on dacp for now um, and you notice we haven't got a hard drive um, so we're just going to skip that step but you could have done it there and if we need to add any ip cameras we can add them there this is actually a dvr um, if we do and hit connect we can enable it here we can always do it later so i'm just going to Let's go to the next stage uh, and finish it off. And that's us set up the initial NVR. You'll notice throughout that setup, it was beeping at us. I need to sort that beeping out. So you'll notice up on the top right hand corner, uh, there's a little bell and that's where the exceptions and the alarm information is held. So it's telling us we have a record exception of a hard drive error. If I had any other events, you'd also see them here, like motion events. But we know we've got no hard drive. So I've got to go and sort this out. How do I sort it out? I need to go into the system menu. The system menu is at the top. It's that little cog. So I'm just going to go and select it. Press OK on it. And I'm going across to the event tab. And then I'm going to go across to the exception tab. And in here, you'll see, just as it gives us another little beep, um, there's some exception types and I need to pick a, a hard drive error and untick the audible warning. There is also a record exception that's also causing an audible warning and I need to apply that. And that's what's done. Um, we'll hear no more beeping out of this NVR unless there's another error. Just to finish off, if you have one of the old menus, the version 3 menus, um, it has a similar sort of thing going on. The beeps are a bit more constant, but we've still got the notifications on the screen of a hard drive error. In this case, we haven't got a network connected either. And there's a little bit of motion detection, but it's the hard drive and the record that's causing the exception. We can turn these off in the hint settings, but that's not what I want to do. I want to try uh, and sort it out. Right mouse click, common menu, exceptions is where we want to go. And you'll notice we've got the, the same similar menu. Go and sort this hard drive error out and apply that. And another little beep coming along. There we go. Um, and don't forget, that's the record uh, exception that we need to untick as well. Uh, and that's us. We just apply that and we can go back to live view uh, and everything's hunky-dory. I hope that's helped. Uh, join us next time. Catch you later.